Hey, Lavender and Grace team. I'm just sitting here chilling. Jen and I are hanging out today and we've been having a ton of fun. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder where she went. That's weird. She was just here and then all of a sudden she disappeared. I'm gonna go find her. Jen, what are you doing? Just cleaning up. Why are you cleaning my kitchen? Well, I saw your thieves cleaner and it smelled so good, I just had to smell it. Mm, it <laughs> smells like thieves. I am cleaning so good. Where did you get this outfit? You just decided to start cleaning my kitchen? I'm styling in the kitchen. You bring this out with you bring this with you everywhere you go so you can clean with your thieves. <laughs> Everybody's house has to smell like thieves. The stuff is awesome, totally safe around kids and pets. The directions say that if it, you drink it, all you have to do is drink water to get the flavor out of your mouth. Like, is there anything safer? I don't think so. So we use it at our house, and this is pretty empty. Should we make some more? Yeah, I, it so was empty. Can... I noticed that this morning. Thanks for filling that up, girlfriend. So you can use different amounts of how diluted you want it, depending on what you want to clean. Almost everything in my house, we use just one capful for this regular size cleaning bottle. So you just pour it in there, try not to spill, like that. Try not to spill. And then you just fill it up with water. You can get bottled water from the grocery store. Mommy. We're just using Berkey water. Mommy. Nice clean water with no chemicals. Mommy's busy right now. Leave a message and we'll call you back. So if you have city water, you probably don't want to use the water from your tap because that's going to have like fluoride and chlorine and stuff in it. And then you just pop on your cap. Twist it on and you're good to go. This is how diluted we use it for pretty much every cleaning in my house. Kitchen, the bathroom, oh, yeah. clean that sink, the girlfriend. toilet, <laughs> the tub, everything gets clean with these cleaner. And I even let my kids help me clean because it's totally safe. You don't have to put them oh. in the other room. Hello. <laughs> so get yourself some of these cleaner. What other tricks do you have up your sleeve, girlfriend? Well, so a fuse cleaner isn't going to cut it that diluted for the tough stuff. So I have really hard country water. So our shower and sometimes the kitchen countertop needs a little extra help. So we're going to make a safe, chemical-free scrub. So this is like a scrub you can use to really get down and dirty. So we're going to use a cup. Down and dirty. A cup of <laughs> baking soda. There. Ashley Hanley says she wants to come over and play. Can we let her come over and play? Of course. Well, it's not my house. You have to ask the host. Ashley's going to have to clean my toilet. That's the... <laughs> yeah, you have to help and work. So then we do a capful of Thieves Cleaner. That's it. Ooh, or a little extra. So. And then we're going to do a quarter cup. This is just plain soaps. You could either use the Thieves... Um, dish soap that they sell, or you could use plain Dr. Bronner's unscented soap, and natural soap. And then we also use one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide, which is really great to get some of that foaming action and stuff in there. And then to help it smell even more oh. delicious, you can use <laughs> five to ten drops of some oils that you like. We're going to do five drops each of rosemary and lemon. That's going to smell so good. Smell and help with some degreasing and things like that. And then when you make this, you just want to store it in a glass container because of the oils. And also something that's really nice and airtight so that it keeps the moisture in there too. So let's mix it up. And if you want it a little thicker, a little thinner, just, you know, add in some more peroxide or thieves cleaner if you want. That says that she, <laughs> that she wants to come over and play too, and then she wants Bel Air, but um, Beth, I'll buy you Bel Air if you clean my shower. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, how bad do you really want it? How bad do you want Bel Air, Beth? <laughs> but her cleaning will be a cinch, because she'll just use this. It's a little bit thin, so I might add a little bit more liquid. And that smells so it. yummy. There we go. And then you would just use this as if you would, you know, like, like a, a soft scrub. Yeah. yeah, like that toxic soft scrub crap that you buy at the <laughs> store. Except for this is way better. Yeah, and so the baking soda gives you, like, more grit, but it's not real abrasive. So I use it, you know, on my glass countertop and stuff, and I haven't had any or the, scratches or anything. you know, in the tiles. 
where the mold yeah. likes to collect in your I shower. I don't have tiles like that, but yeah. Neither do I. But I know people I do. People shower. have tiles. People with fancy showers have tiles. Yeah, they have tiles, you know, and things collect there and it's gross. And there you go. Yay, well that smells amazing. Okay, now you can go scrub my shower. <laughs> if you make me some ice cream, maybe. Okay, I'll make you ice cream. With some peppermint oil. <laughs> I mean peppermint vitality. Peppermint vitality <laughs> oil, that sounds good. There we go. Mm. Good to go. Thanks, Jen. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. Bye.